So in, in this talk, we, we consider two concepts. The first one is uh, probabilistic programs, and, uh, which are programs with uh, simple variables and also uh, uh, random branches. The motivation is, is that uh, uh, when uh, we are tackling uh, noisy inputs, um, uh, the, phenomenon, the ph phenomenon of pro probability is uh, so, so, sort of un unavoidable. And uh, uh, even in some cases, uh, for example, in the case of random algorithms, uh, we even uh, make, pro 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 uh, make pro probability in programs uh, sort of uh, on purpose. And uh, the second concept we consider in this, in this talk is called termination analysis. The, motiv uh, and, uh, the, mo the, the motivation is that uh, for programs, uh, the most important property that uh, we, we expect programs to satisfy is uh, that uh, they should somehow terminate. And in detail, we focus on termination analysis of uh, a, a subclass of prob probabilistic programs which are called affine prob 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 probabilistic programs. So um, um, uh, by means of, term ter by mean of termination analysis, we, uh, here we consider uh, three variants of this, uh, 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 this, 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 uh, this, this, this general uh, scope. So, uh, so first we consider uh, the most basic one, which is called almost short termination. So uh, this means that uh, a program satisfies almost short termination, um, and then it, uh, uh, it, it should terminate with, pro with pro probability one. And, and then uh, we consider the notion of finite termination, which means that a program should terminate with finite expected ter termination time. And, and finally, we consider the notion of uh, so-called concentration on termination time, which uh, means that uh, we, we need to find uh, some threshold that, such that after, after this threshold, uh, the program terminates, uh, uh, the, uh, the, pr the probability that the program does not terminate uh, it decreases exponentially. So now we'll take a look at, at uh, the, the class of programs we focus on. It's called a fine probabilistic programs. So um, it has a, a normal, con normal control flow structure such as uh, while loops or if branches and, uh, and uh, being, the, being probabilistic means mean that uh, we incorporate uh, simply variables into it, and then we also have uh, probabilistic branches. And uh, be, uh, being a fine mean, means that uh, such, a, such a program should, uh, should uh, only uh, allow a fine update. And we, we also incorpor incorporate non-determinism non into uh, this class, which means that uh, one can has uh, angelic or demonic non-determinism at uh, uh, the uh, 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 um, in terms of branches. So let's quickly uh, look at uh, an example. So this, uh, this, this is a very simple example. So uh, first we assign uh, uh, x to 100 and then y to zero, and then we enter a while loop uh, where the guard is uh, x is greater than or equal to y. And then uh, in the loop body, it is a demotic branch, which means that uh, this branch is somehow uh, controlled by uh, some uh, uh, some uh, uh, very bad environment, and uh, and uh, this and uh, and uh, within this uh, within this demonic branch, each branch uh, is uh, every branch is possible. So the first branch is that we increment uh, the variable x by uh, by the value stemmed from uh, some uniform distribution, and uh, in the second branch, uh, we, uh, we uh, increment the variable y uh, by some uniform distribution. Uh, as we have seen, uh, we have uh, non determinism in our programs. So uh, to, uh, uh, in order to satisfy the semantics of, 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 of such programs, we need uh, sort of the, the notion of scheduler. So intuitively, a, a scheduler is a, a function which uh, maps uh, every finite execution uh, of a program uh, uh, into, uh, into uh, the demonic or angelic branch. 
and then the function assigns this finite execution uh, um, a choice uh, of which branch to choose. So an, a scheduler is as angelic if uh, it makes decision at those angular branches, and it is demonic if it makes decisions at those demonic branches. And with those schedulers, now we can talk about uh, termination properties of those programs. So let's first look at uh, the most basic one, which is called almost sure termination. So, uh, uh, so we, we, say, we say that a program P terminates almost surely if, 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 and only if there exists an, an angelic scheduler, uh, such as against every demonic scheduler, the program will terminate with, with with provider one. Now we have a uh, uh, sort of more demanding notion of finite termination, which, uh, uh, which uh, suggests that uh, the program should terminate uh, with finite expected termin with finite expected ter um, ter termination time, no matter uh, 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 some edge scheduler and no matter uh, how we choose the demonic scheduler. And finally, we may, uh, we may have the most demanding one, which means that uh, a program P uh, have a, uh, a, a concentration bound on termination time, if, and only if uh, uh, there is a, some sort of threshold such that uh, uh, after this, after this threshold, uh, the, pro the, the, prob the probability that uh, this program does not terminate uh, uh, after uh, such threshold, uh, uh, it uh, decreases exponentially. And we can prove the following logical relationships. So first we have that uh, 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 finite termination uh, implies almost sure termination. And uh, one can also prove that uh, concentration bound, uh, it will imply, fin imply fi finite termination. So our research is not uh, uh, initiative. There are uh, already some results. So uh, I, I think at the very beginning, we have, that, uh, we have uh, 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 some notion called quantitative invariance, and then uh, and sort of uh, Lyapunov ranking functions on process, uh, on, on probabilistic re rewrite systems are studied. And uh, th this can be seen as, seen as a, a counterpart uh, of ranking functions uh, over non-probabilistic non 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 program. And uh, then very recently, uh, the notion of uh, ranking supermatic girls are uh, imported uh, to analyze a fine probability a fine probabilistic programs, and, uh, and also very recently, uh, uh, ranking semanticals uh, in general form are studied. Uh, and, and then uh, for the for concentration bound, uh, uh, we can find only one result, which is through abstract interpretation uh, uh, by finding uh, the decreasing factors through uh, sort of widening techniques. So, turn to our contribution. Uh, so, uh, we have seen that uh, ranking somatic girl uh, plays an important <coughs> role in, in, uh, in termination detection of a uh, program. So, we perform linear ranking somatic synthesis for a fine prob, a fine prob, a fine prob, uh, a fine probabilistic programs and, and, and we also uh, generate a, a concentration bound through, through linear ranking through bounding scale. So let's first take a look at uh, what is a ranking uh, uh, what is a ranking super mountain scale. So first we have a, a, a program P, and also we let Fn to be a sort of entity which is called the, ex the execution of P up to N steps. And then 
a real case of Monte Gale, uh, is uh, just a sequence of random variables uh, such uh, that uh, we have three conditions. So the first one says that x n is greater than or equal to k. Uh, it holds always the case uh, and all executions. And then the second one uh, is uh, the relationship between this running this this Monte Gale with the termination of p. It says that uh, uh, x uh, extend is positive if it, and only if p does not terminate. And the third one is sort of a decreasing condition, which says that um, the conditional expectation of uh, the the next step of the, of x ten uh, is uh, smaller than or, or, or equal to uh, the value at the current step minus uh, some positive amount. And uh, this theorem um, clarifies the relationship between uh, Rocky's particles <laughs> and the termination. So to say, so to say that if there exists such a Rocky's particle, then this program terminates almost surely, and moreover, we can also ensure finite termination, which says that the expected termination time of p is no greater than uh, uh, the, the expected value of x1 minus k over epsilon. And in, in this talk, we, uh, we, uh, we are in particular interested in linear ranking, 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 ranking super, um, super, super girls. So what is a linear one? So, uh, uh, so a ranking symmetrical is linear uh, uh, if we have uh, that uh, we have uh, for, for for uh, we have that uh, for each program location we, we have a linear function, and then uh, the va and, and then the value of the random variable is equal to uh, this function at this label, and also uh, on those uh, program. Valuations. So let's take a, an example of a linear ranking So, uh, so, uh, uh, so we see that uh, we have two colors. The color in blue is uh, our linear ranking So it, it, it starts with one hundred plus uh, fourteen over six, and then uh, when when the while loop is entered and, and then it becomes x, x minus x minus x minus one x minus y plus two, and then uh, we can see that it, it decreases uh, uh, one step by one step by one over six, and then at the terminal lo location seven we have that that, that uh, this is uh, this value is negative. So um, in, in, in order to uh, prove that uh, this is a linear Rocky symmetric girl, we need uh, the sort of uh, invariant, uh, which means that um, which is a logical formula uh, at each program location specifying uh, the the uh, the evaluation that uh, the pro the property holds. So, for example, um, at label three, we have uh, the uh, invariance x minus one is greater than or, than or equal to minus two. From that, from that uh, formula, we can deduce that x, uh, the, the value of the linear ranking symmetric girl x minus y plus two is is always non-negative. So, uh, uh, and also as a consequence, we can give an upper bound uh, on the expected ter termination time of, of, of this program. And what we do is synthesis of linear ranking super bonding girls. So our order goes like as follows. So first, uh, we have a linear template for the for our linear ranking super bonding girl, and then we read uh, read uh, invariance from uh, an external source, and then uh, we obtain constraints for those unknown coefficients, and then we solve the co co solve the co coefficients in, uh, and then. Uh, uh, this linear ranking, this linear ranking super particle is, is obtained. The main techniques we use uh, uh, are well-known uh, techniques for reasoning about uh, linear inequalities. So first we have uh, Farkas lemma, which can solve this formula uh, for all x. So x is smaller, smaller than or equal to b implies c 
transpose x is smaller or equal to d. Uh, so Fox number can solve this formula very efficiently. And, and, and also we have this Moskin's transposition theorem, which can check whether this set, which is defined through uh, uh, polyhedral inequalities and also strict polyhedral inequalities uh, very efficiently. So we use Fox lemma for uh, for programs without angelic non determinism and also most case transposition theorem for programs with angelic non determinism. So we, we obtain the following result. So first, we show that uh, over uh, a fine pro over a fine pro a fine pro probabilistic programs without angelic non determinism, our pro uh, our algorithm runs in polynomial time. And, and our algorithm runs in p-space uh, if there is some, uh, uh, some appearance of angelic non-determinism. And we also prove that to synthesize a linear ring systematic of uh, programs, uh, even, without pro even without probability, but with angelic non-determinism, it is empty hard. And, and this hardness uh, result is, is obtained from uh, a reduction from three set program. Now we turn to our second type of contribution, which is called concentration bound. So for, uh, to obtain a concentration bound of a, a program P, we need uh, a sort of notion of different bounded ranking some manacles. So, uh, so a ranking some manacle is different bounded if uh, the difference between uh, the uh, between adjacent steps uh, on, on values are bounded. So we see that uh, here we, we have x uh, minus uh, plus one minus xn is, uh, 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 it always lies uh, in an interval. Uh, uh, and it is a, a global interval. So we show, uh, so, uh, we show that, so first let's have, let's have some notations. And then, this theorem says that if we have a different bounded ranking systematic uh, then we have that uh, the probability that the, uh, the, this program does not terminate within n steps, it is smaller than uh, e to some exponential, and then this, this exponential uh, uh, can be shown to be linear on n. So let's continue with our running example. So we have this program, and by applying our theorem, we show that uh, uh, the, 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 the probability that this program does not terminate within 3,000 uh, steps is uh, no more than 8.3 times, uh, 8 times 10, to 10, to 10 to minus 6. And what is the use of this uh, kind of concentration bound? We show that with this, uh, with this, with this uh, concentration bound, we can uh, approximate uh, uh, the expected terminal time of, uh, uh, of a program in two, in two, in two, in two, in two XP time. And then we also show that uh, such an approximation to, uh, is, P, is, P, uh, is P space hard. And moreover, we also obtain uh, and, and another uh, kind of, uh, way to obtain a, a, a concentration bound through uh, the well-known uh, Bernstein's inequality. So, in conclusion, we will perform almost sure an, uh, an finite termination detection of a, a fine prob probability of programs. We do this through synthesis of linear ranking, ranking supermanic gills. And we show that uh, to synthesize a linear ranking semantic of a, a fine pro of a fine probability programs is uh, in p time for programs without uh, non uh, without uh, demonic non and, and 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 somehow lies in lies between n p and p space for programs with angelic non determinism and also. Uh, we, we show how to obtain a concentration bound through synthesis of linear ranking systematic gills. And we show the complicit analysis of, uh, to, to obtain such a, a, concentra con a concentration bound. So thank you for attention.
David Monio from Verimac. Do, do I get this microphone? Does it work? Okay. So, um, the, your uh, complexity results apply if you compute a super martingale at every control program location, right? Yeah. Uh, what would happen if you had the control flow graphs uh, specified succinctly as for people, pe people that do large block encoding in program analysis? Um, I think in, in this result, we use sort of uh, game structure. We did not use a uh, control flow graph, but I think uh, they are similar. Uh, and what would be you, I mean, the practical use case of your approach? I mean, uh, any uh, practical example on which you, you need to derive such bounds? Uh, currently, we're doing this uh, in a theoretical fashion. Okay. So what, what, what's, can you say more about the connections between affine probabilistic programs and Markov decision procedures? Uh, the, the, I think uh, each, each such program can be uh, uh, a sort of a Markov decision process uh, and, uh, when, uh, it, when it does not involve any, uh, uh, any continuous sampling variables. So uh, if it has only uh, Bernoulli variables, and then I think each such program will be uh, an infinite state mark of decision process. Uh, 